Hello, my genius brother. What are you doing? Are you playing games? No, I'm watching MakeMeGenius.com. I want to learn about the landforms. I have a test tomorrow. Oh, that is very good. Let me help you. Let's look at the globe. Did you notice that there are different colors on it? Yes, yes. I know that the blue color on the globe shows water. You are correct. Blue color shows oceans, rivers and other water bodies on our planet. Let's first understand the meaning of an ocean. An ocean means the vast body of salt water that covers almost three-fourths of the Earth's surface. We have five oceans on the planet and they are all attached to each other. You told that blue on the globe also tells us about the rivers. What is a river? Oh yes, blue color represents oceans, rivers and other water bodies on earth. To understand more, let's get into a flying machine and let's fly over the land. Then you can easily understand and watch different kinds of landforms. Wow, I can see lots of things. This land is not plain. Yes, that's right. Land is not all plain. It has many different forms. They are called landforms. Oh, I can see the ocean too. We just learnt about it. It is very big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right. Also remember, the place where the ocean meets the land is known as coast. I know, the sea beach where we went for our vacations is on the coast, where oceans meet the land. Oh, what is that? It is very high and also it has snow over it. This is called mountain. A mountain is a very tall, high natural place on earth. Let's learn a little more. Look, there is a mountain with a lot of snow over it. This snow melts due to heat of the sun. The water starts coming down the mountain. When water falls from a height, it is called waterfall. The water from waterfall is moving towards lower areas and it reaches the plain land and it starts flowing in a river. A large natural stream of water with land on both its sides is called a river. This river is going into the ocean. Do all rivers go into the ocean? Most of the rivers go into the ocean. But many rivers get merged in other rivers or they go into a lake. Let's go back to our flying machine. I want to learn more. Oh, I can see a small mountain. Oh, that is not a small mountain. That is a hill. Let's look at a picture. If the land is not too high, it is called a hill. A mountain is very high. Scientists measure the height of the land and based on height, they decide whether it is a mountain or a hill. Oh, now I understand the difference between a mountain and a hill. Can you see the low area between two mountains? Yes, but what is the name of this landform? This is known as valley. It is low land area between two mountains. Look here, I can see some water below. It is neither a river nor an ocean. This is called a lake or a pond. Small water bodies surrounded by landforms on all sides is known as a lake or pond. They either get rainwater or water from some nearby rivers gather there. Oh, I remember. Last time for a school trip, we went to a lake for boating. Look at that. It is an isthmus. 
An isthmus is a narrow strip of land connecting two large land masses. An isthmus has water on two sides. Now I understand. A river has water on all sides, but an isthmus has water on two sides. You are a genius. An isthmus is a piece of land having water on both sides, but a lake is a water body with water on all sides. What is that? It is a water body having land on both sides. It is called strait. I am confused. Can you tell me about lake, isthmus, and strait again? Okay, sure. Focus on the screen. A lake. It is water with land on all sides. An isthmus is a strip of land with water on two sides. And a strait is a strip of water with land on two sides. It is just the opposite of an isthmus. You are really a genius. Now look at the next picture carefully. Can you tell me what this is? This is a piece of land surrounded by water from all sides. It is called an island. It is just the opposite of lake. Look at this lake. Can you notice that? Yes, you are right. A lake is a water body with land on all sides and an island is a piece of land with water all around it. It is very interesting. I have learned a lot about water bodies. Tell me what is that land form? It looks dry. It is called desert. There is almost no water here. Only few plants and animals live here. I know camels live in the desert. They are also known as sheep of the desert. Yes, because camels can travel long distances without drinking water. So now you have learned a lot today. Let's go back home. Thank you. I learned many types of landforms. Now you can go to makemegenius.com for more science videos.